Hey guys, History Guru is here, and uh, this is another play that was sent to me by, by one of my subscribers. And this is a really an interesting battle uh, that teaches you at the end um, that even if you think you win the battle, don't take it for granted. A and the opposite is true. If you think uh, the battle is lost, stay in the fight. Anyways, uh, it also uh, a battle about good artillery in, in one team and the bad artillery on the other team. So what do we have here? It's a Malinovka field and as we all know um, from my previous videos, I always advocate just leave the field and uh, go fight on the other side of the lake. However, what happened here, we have our scout who uh, quickly went for a run lead few targets so quickly died. A uh, good player, 54% in that tank, um, wrong decision here, really, uh, shouldn't have da died. And anyways, um, you guys know I'm using XVM, and there are many XVM haters, although I find this particular mod is very useful. And I configured uh, the file, uh, now it shows, if you see the percentage on over the um, tanks on my team, same would work for tanks on enemy team, the percentage shows uh, win rate in this particular vehicle because yeah, I can see overall win rate on the left and right panels but it is also often useful to know how player is doing uh, in the particular tank I understand this is not always an accurate figure because if you all had only had few battles in a particular tank then luck is involved naturally uh, however um, most of the time it gives you an overall figure who is strong in the tank in that particular tank on your or enemy team. So what happened here, most of the uh, team went around the lake. I'm um, looking at our artillery, they all above 50% on their tanks, so they're uh, good players. And like some of the Unicoms say, uh, it actually takes skill to play artillery. That's what we'll see in this battle. So, uh, and our friend, uh, person who sent me the replay, he decided to stay in the field. Because um, even if I advocate everyone to leave the field, sometimes it's useful still we have at least some tanks back in the field. So he stays in the field defending along with VK3601 and uh, naturally we should have an overwhelming force going around the lake, right? We should just crush them and win. Um, well, watch how our fearless team is dying on that hill one by one by showing lots of not showing lots of skills and here we have two tanks going against our friend uh, who is now alone against IS-3 and Tiger-2 alright what do we do here look guys uh, this is a good example of where the heck is the artillery? So our artillery is doing great job now because uh, for our friend on Tiger Do, the only chance to survive here is with the help of artillery. And look, guys, he is angled and he is hiding his lower glasses here. So it's very hard to penetrate. And boom, awesome shot by uh, Hummel. IS-3 is dead. So our artillery works great now, helping our friend. Their artillery, for their artillery, this Tiger 2 is one or two shot. Look, he's showing the sides. Nobody is shooting at him. Yes, he's lucky here, kind of, but their artillery is absolutely dumb. And I understand they probably, you know, have other targets in mind. However, their team just lost, lost two tanks, and if the artillery helped to kill the Tiger 2 here, that IS-3 and Tiger 2 would run over the field, kill our artillery, and battle would be over. Um, now, all our brave defenders, or brave attackers, sorry, on the other side are dead now. That was quick, wasn't it? Amazing, but quick. And now we go in. He 
he, we are going to sit behind this rock. This will cover our Tiger 2 from shots from across the field. At the same time, this is a good position to spot guys who is going from uh, the other side of the lake. And Tiger has excellent, Tiger 2 has excellent, excellent view range. Uh, what do they have? They have IS-3, SU-122. Uh, I'm not sure about Super Pershing and Tiger P, but IS-3 and SU-122 are blind tanks. Tiger will see them way before they see him. And the mistake enemy does, uh, they, they rush right across the village instead of going a longer route uh, around the hill. So now it's 611 and uh, looks like battle is lost. Actually, it's just started. Let's watch. I'm going to speed it up just a bit. So here comes SU-122-44. 124, it's spotted, but it cannot see our Tiger too, because it's, it's again, it's a blind tank. We can shoot him. And we're looking for wounded targets, and we try to kill the most dangerous targets first. That would be S3 and artillery. Look, artillery is doing awesome job. That was great. It was 611. Now it's 911. I have Wolverine, uh, probably part of some kind of weird platoon. And again, artillery did very good job. We still have two artists, and it's 1011. The tide is turning fast. And look, the artillery, smart artillery, moving. They relocate now. They relocate to a safer place. That's what they should do. Enemy was quite wrong the way they advanced across the lake. Now we have Tiger P, and we have Super Pershing. Super Pershing seemed to be like a good player, and no clue where where uh, the tank is located. Uh, looks like it looks like we've discovered so one of their tanks is close. Look how bad the artillery is. They cannot hit him. That means they never relocated from whenever they started. They should have been moved into the village or on the hill a long time ago. If their team had good artillery they would have won by now. Look, they're still trying to shoot our uh, uh, Tiger 2 from God knows where. And cannot hit him. So, our RT did good job. T t t kill Tiger P. The RT continues to... Uh, be horrible. All we need to do now, we need to just sit behind this rock and Artsy will kill the Super Pershing. Damn, boom, dang. And uh, it was 6-11, now it's 12-11. Not bad, right? And we can expedite it. Tiger 2 would not have won this battle alone without the help of artillery. Made a huge difference. And he played great, too. He covered the field when everyone left. The entire team lost the field. He picked the best position possible in his situation. And now we are going to finish this battle. I don't have post-game stats, but it looks like he did uh, 3,000 probably damage or so. We have another artillery hammer with 4 kills and M41 with 4 kills. So it's between um, those two tanks. And probably other M41 also has uh, some damage done. Hope you like this video, and I'll see you in my next one.